Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this amazing episode of the White Paper Podcast. Can you pop? I'm not saying pop champagne. <laughs> Can you pop? Can you shout? Can you get excited? Because every episode is loaded with life and with light and inspiration and wit. My name is Damilo Atoyimbo, the creator of White People Wisdom. You might have seen the White Paper books. White Night, White People Merch, White People Wisdom website. Now, White People Podcast, maybe one day. White People Private Jet. White People Intergalactic Cosways. White People Interstellar Feature featuring today we have an amazing gentleman is incredible you have heard his voice if you have not maybe you heard that you didn't know it was his voice <laughs> somebody connected to you somewhere or in some way um must have listened to his music or shared his content he is talented he is a writer he's a singer he's a thinker i just learned today that is also an artist not just an artist an artist ladies and gentlemen please welcome receive celebrate appreciate acknowledge the incredible amazing literally great man yes sir take it to be here. take to be it here. away <laughs> Thank you so much for making it through. I know that you have a lot of demands on you right now. Yeah. Um, your voice is out there. Your energy is incredible. Yeah. Your gifts are inspiring. And I just love the dedication that you've displayed yeah. in driving all of this. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for having me. I so appreciate good. it. So good to you. All right. So let's get right into it. Um, the first day I heard your name, Great Man Takit, I'm like, ah, I know Great Man. Which one is Takit? Right. <laughs> right. And then I wasn't sure. Is it a nickname? Is it a stage name? Is it a family name? name? Great Man is your surname? No, no, no. Great Man is my real name, my first name. Okay. And then Takit is my surname. Wow. Yeah. So Great Man is the name you were given the day you were born? No. Okay. Great so, Man is the name my dad gave me. Oh, I see. Um, so my. My birth name is Ademola Kayode Izikyo. Okay, okay. So, um, Kayode is my dad's name also. So oh, okay. used to call me Junior. Oh. So four or seven. Oh. My dad, my dad is a preacher. Okay, so awesome. One day he just called me and said, he said, Junior, you're no longer Junior. Wow. You're a great man. And he yeah, never made the wow. mistake of wow. calling me Junior again, ever. Wow. I just kept calling me Junior. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that became my, you know, my name. Wow, that is amazing. I I, just, I love your dad already. <laughs> because he didn't want it to be like a miniature ver version of him, and he didn't want that consciousness to be registered in your psyche, like something that you had to deal with. Like, yeah. okay, my my dad is senior, I'm junior, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because again, children are supposed to be greater than their fathers. Amazing. So, Takit is your real name. What does it mean? So, um, of course, you already know from my middle name, Adimola, yes. Yes. that I'm your brother. Your brother, yes. So, um, it's a derivative of Otakiti. Okay. Or Otakiti. Okay. But, and that just means someone who's wise, someone who's smart. Okay. And, yeah, yeah, my dialect calls it Takiti. Okay. Where are you from? Osi. You're joking! Huh? It's Kwara State. Osi Ekiti. Kwara State. Osi Ekiti is Ekiti State. No, no, it's Kwara. So, here... here there's Osi in Ekiti, uh -huh. but then there's Osi in Kwara. Really? Osi in Kwara, they, they identify as Ekiti people too. But wow. Then Kwara State. Wow. So, so maybe they traveled. Well, not really. It's just geography. I'm I'm an Ekiti man, really. Her, I'm an Ekiti man. I'm from yeah. Osi Ekiti, Ekiti State. That's what, yeah, that's what I was shouting. <laughs> this, this yeah. So like, like my local government is Ekiti wow. local government. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, mine is Ido Osi local government. So that means they are obviously different. Yeah, yeah, a bit different, yes. But what if we're siblings? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I mean, like, like, if that's the case, I'll just be like, there's so many questions to be answered. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, but I think there's a there's a fair chance that if people traveled and migrated. That's what I think. Maybe like, yes. 
200 that's, that's years like, ago or something like that. Osi used to be like a fortress. I see. Or, yeah. Osi used to be like a very big community. Yeah. Like my own Osi. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it was a very strong fortress mm. for people to like take mm. refuge during times of war. Yeah. So I'm guessing wow. that the, I know that there's a lot of relationship between OC mm -hmm. people, like AKT people in yeah. the United States yeah. and AKT, AKT people. people. Yeah, yes. yeah, there, there must be. Wow, amazing. Interesting things are happening already. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you spoke about that. You spoke about um, Fortress. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should pick on that because I was going to ask another question before. I'm be beginning to become more passionate about Africa. Right. Because I'm studying, I'm learning, I'm yeah. seeing that way. As far back as 300, 400 years ago, yeah. Africa was a major force. Yeah. Like there were fortresses, yeah. there were big walls, mm -hmm. there was arts, creativity, and ent mm -hmm. entertainment, and all on, on huge scales, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I don't know whether you saw this video where Steve Harvey was saying that Burner Boy didn't steal yeah, still, still from, from yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, now these guys are beginning to have this mainstream conversations. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's where people like you yeah. are very strategic and very important. Because right. I feel like things are coming, you know, full circle right. where the, the arts, the creativity, it's almost like a renaissance of sorts, yeah. but on a global scale. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about your passion for arts, mm -hmm. uh, your passion for music. How did that start? Is it a Pan-African thing? Is it a kingdom centric thing was it just a personal thing as in just those different pieces because i also see like what you're wearing there's this yeah <laughs> so there's a very artsy thing so it's just yeah. it's beyond your music yeah, yeah. so let's like hear that. a bit about that um i started music professionally in 2010 11. wow that's I've far always, back yeah, yeah but i've always known how to sing i've always known been known as the guy who was multi-talented Mm. Something about me is I never knew what I wanted to become as a kid. Because you could become almost anything you wanted to become. Well, yeah, but then it just never dawned on me to say, oh, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a farmer, or whatever it is. I just didn't know what I wanted to become. I just knew that I was that kid who could sing, write, act, draw, dance. You know, I was just very artistic. Mm. I never, it never dawned on me that that was, you know, my strength. Mm. You know, never until 2012. Wow. Yeah. But then, I had entered school then, I was already, like, uni then, and then I was already involved in, like, um, church fellowship, and then there was this group called YWAP. Yeah, you know, YWAP? As a white, we have very it's historical, very, it's, yeah. It's very, very, very. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't, you hadn't seen me at YWAP a long time ago? No, 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 I mean, yeah, I was in YWAP from 2010. I'm, yeah, so I, once a YWAP person, always a YWAP person. So are you sure you never saw me speak at YWAP? No, 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 I, I don't think In Kaduna I, and Abuja, 2012, I think, or 2010. 2012, I was 20, okay, I see. All, the, all those times I was in 2011. So I was doing YWAP Mina. I he see. invite us to Kaduna. I see. Because I met Tolu and Praise and yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. I think there's a Victor, yeah. Skills, yeah. 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 All them guys were, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Those beats, wow. Wow. Uh, all them guys. Uh, Captain Quest yeah, was, yeah. Guys. He's now very much an actor. Yeah. A graphic artist. Um, what's his name? Labi. Akin Labi. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, he was wild, you know. He had, he had left before I came. Okay. You know, but wild really taught me to hone my rap skills, mm. you know. So I sing rap, all, all of that. But I was just the singer guy. Now, as regards my calling, yeah, it was twenty twelve, mm. and then God began to talk to me about, you know, being like sheep among wolves and stuff like that. Mm. So I knew okay, that was twenty ten, but twenty twelve was like definition. Mm. See, this is these are biblical characters you look like, you know. So I realized, oh, that was when I knew what I wanted to become. Wow! And then, for me, I discovered late, so I was going with a passion, as though I wanted to catch up. On something that I had missed out mm. because mm. in my head I'm like, why am I even here? Mm. Why am I even in this? Mm. Like, all of those things, you know, drove me to becoming who I am. Mm. So, yes, there's a very high level of intentionality to what I do. Yeah, you know, and there is a high level of um, creativity to what I do. Yeah. So, again, because I was multi-talented, it was difficult for me to dip to to 
determine what exactly I, I needed to do. But then I then knew that God was placing emphasis on my music, mm. that he had given me a voice that was almost irresistible. And it's yeah. not just in the tonality of it. it was, yeah. A calling, yeah. A I see. I see. Yes. I see. So I, I just began to, you know, I allowed that to teach me, mm. you know, to do me. Wow. Yeah. So that's the evolution in brief. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I spoke about the fact that it's commanding. So is that where commando came from? Okay. Okay. But that, that's a powerful song, like really, really powerful, yeah, powerful yeah. song. What's What's the story behind it? As in, did you know him before? Did he know you? Did he yeah, know you before? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, but then last year, God began to talk to me about collaboration. I see. And collaborative, collaborative projects. Project mm -hmm. Almost that the way forward for anybody in the world is collaboration. Mm. Just merging and collaborating to become something. Literally to chasing 10,000. Yeah. If your one can chase 8,000. Mm. So I, I spoke to him about, collaborate, uh, about doing a collaborative project. We started with a song called Get. Okay. Um, that did a bit well, but then he, I was very much. So it was around. get. Yeah, there was get. So not everybody was able to get get. Yes, they for they forget get. They forget get. Mm. They can't forget get. Yeah. They don't forget get. They, they, they don't they, get they get. They don't get get. They don't forget get. <laughs> <laughs> she will get away from this point, though. Yeah, she get away from. <laughs> <laughs> well, she not get that. She will not get that. I was very much itinerant. He's a producer. He's yeah. an artist, but he's very much a producer. Production, yeah. You know, so he's heavy on production. So he just created Commando mm. and then said, Guy, how far? Let's jump on this. So I yeah. did my verse. And then when it came to promotion, I was very heavy on it. Too. Yeah. So um, after Commando, we just knew, okay, we need to do like two other songs. Two, three good. other songs. And then we yeah. just did and then put it out. So called it the Commando. So is that EP? Commando, yeah. Yeah, five, five songs. Like five songs. Okay. Yeah, five, five songs. Because Commando was already doing well. Right? Yeah, so. Yeah, so that's how the Commando spearhead. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. What are like some of the most startling testimonies or feedback you've gotten regarding? So there was Commando and then there's this, look what, look what you've done. Is that, is that part of it? No, oh, this is an independent one. Like, yeah. So when, when do you release the songs? Yeah. What are the things that people say? Right. You know, Recently, somebody talked to me about how that Commando has been encouraging for them mm -hmm. because they've been going through like a lot, you know, of depression and they just don't know how to go about things. And yeah. Things. And then they just remember God has the whole world. Mm -hmm. and, that God mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. and that's why, for look what you've done, somebody literally said, I, I'm supposed to be dead. I'm, so, I'm supposed to be dead. Wow. Right now. Yeah. The person told me on the day that they got saved from death. Like they were hearing gunshots hmm. on like different buses. He was in a bus in Lagos here. Yeah. Wow. And they were hearing gunshots and then the bullets began to hit their own bus too. He ran out, wow. like, came out of the bus. And the only thing on his mind was, look what you've done already. Hmm. And then it was coincidentally Gaze Baba's um, concert. That same day. Yeah, it was that same day. <laughs> the guy just came. I came, I just attended the concert. Wow. I was like, great man, you don't know what your son has done to me today. Hmm. And I was like, yeah, you need to put it in. Right? I actually posted it. I actually made a post. About wow. It. Like, life-saving testimonies. On Instagram, look what you've done has over 7,000 reels. Wow. People giving like their testimonies from January to And this is just two months or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is like the third month. Third month, wow. You know? Because I released it in December. Mm -hmm. But then, if you come from this year, yeah. it's like just three months. So... Person, person, people are like seven thousand reels is a lot. Yeah, you know, and people are using those reels to give their testimonies, to their testimonies mm -hmm. using the song, mm -hmm. saying this song literally speaks to my experience. Mm -hmm. Literally speaks about the things that God has delivered me from. Some of the videos that have that really went viral. Um, one of it was two of them were kids, guys that had left their parents for a couple of years mm -hmm. and then came back home. Oh, did, did you posted one? There was one about a family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was very touching. Yeah, that was for like five years. He had not seen his parents. This wow. one, there was another one that really like bursted my head. Like, it just blew my mind. This guy had not seen his parents for 
I'm not going to use metaphors again. Ah, I can't say I'm going to say that. <laughs> This, this guy literally left it had left his parents for 20 years whoa and then returned home his parents they are actually a muslim family wow yeah these are deep things man so it just it just makes me realize i need to do more yeah people yeah need, yeah people need that sound yeah. that sound so you're you're in the urban space mm -hmm. but i love the vers versatility mm -hmm. right there's one of his energy 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. come off it come off it come off it how do you feel it was being played in a, in a locker room I used, yeah yeah it was being um, played last year inter milan, inter -Milan. La that was yeah, last year was how did it get there wow I just won a tournament and I did you see the streams spike the at the time spike. People began to shazam it. People began to it screams spice. Wow. So talk about your creative process. How does it happen for you? It depends on the Do song. You just okay. So for worship songs, I have a song called Town of Rain. Okay. Uh, Town of Rain. Sound of Rain. Sound of Rain. Okay. I released it in twenty. Okay, I think I saw I saw a clip Sorry. recently. Yeah. You released it during I mean you played it, you used it as a reel during elections or something. Yes. Re yes. Yeah. It was yeah, during the elections. I used it and I used the um, we prevail. Okay. Yeah, we prevail was featuring the song. Sound of Rain is a song that took me seven years to release. I released 2000, 2000, 2020. Yeah. So 2013. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing? The chorus came in 2013. So, like I said, it depends on the song. Yeah. So, for prophetic songs like that, I allow the song, the allow lyrics the song to find it. Me. Mm. I allow, you know, my walk with God, whatever it is. So for a lot of my worship songs, I don't compose them. Mm. I, I just wait. Yeah. I wait it out. And then when it's time, it's, it comes in its full package. Mm. Not because I'm not a good writer. Mm -hmm. With Afro Beats. Oh, I, you're a good writer. Yeah. <laughs> with Afro Beats, I could churn out like two, three songs in, in a day. I could actually, you know, bring out like two, three, four songs in a day, depending on how, wow. how geared I am, how yeah. inspired I am. You know, Afro Beats is the easiest form mm. rap music of course you have to see you have to think you have to write so yeah maybe two songs or one depending on you know what i'm talking about mm. and also you know with, with this whole thing experience has a way of you know boosting your creativity because then you have something to talk about yeah <laughs> i yeah. love that yeah. i love that's a good point yeah so um for my uh, as regards my creative process it depends on what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. For Afro beats, to be honest, is really easy for me. All right, so you, I, just, I literally almost do not write sometimes. It's like, just yeah, that I'm, I'm bobbing. Mm -hmm. and the words are coming. And so what do you do? You, you have to get the sound first, or it depends. Sometimes the song comes to me, and then the, I tell the producer. But a lot of times with Afro beats, a lot of times is the beats. Yeah. All right, so Afro beats, right? Yeah. What exactly does Afro beats? What what exactly is Afro beats? What does it beat? What does it? It's an Afro beat, beat, beat. What is it? Beat? Speaker. <laughs> That's why you gave me another band. Bang! Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, drop, drop more, drop more, drop more. Another banger. Another banger. And then it's sweet like banger. It's sweet like banger. Uh huh. Yes. And start to make it stand. Hey, make the thing stand. Gay gay. Yeah. Gay gay. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, it says a speaker, a bit speaker. A bit then speaker. it beats. It blows your mind. Blows your mind. Yes. Mm. It, it, it beats you up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's a, there's so much more. There's so much more coming. When we're back, I'm going to be asking great, great man some questions regarding his personal disciplines, daily routines, um, accomplishments, mm. mistakes, errors, just the tactical stuff. Mm. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back. It's going to get deeper and richer. I'll see you shortly. Um, my name is DK Oluwashion. I'm an entrepreneur and a um, marketer and a farmer. All right. So um, the session with Pastor Dami is really, really inspiring and impactful. As a matter of fact, I would say I practically traveled down just for this purpose and I'm not regretting it. If I thought going back would really be serious old dog, but <laughs> what I've gotten here is just so mind-blowing. Of course, um, what is even paid is a peanut compared to the, the value that was gotten from, from the session. 
And that is why I would want to encourage anybody to also have a taste of the kind of wisdom that is coming forth um, from Pastor Dami's mouth. It's really, really inspiring. And um, I don't think I will forget um, this session so soon. Um, I will also want to use this medium to advise anybody who is watching right now to please register with the Genius S. And that is because the level of information and impact that will be gotten is not something you will forget so soon. As a matter of fact, it can help anyone to, to, to shut a course. Okay, so please, wherever you are, try as much as possible to plug into Genius S. And thank God for Pastor Dami. It's very, very lenient. And that is why you can as well just pray the payment twice, just as he has done after the session. So it's a good thing that you should connect. Welcome back. It is White Paper Podcast with Dami Lovatoimbo. And on today's episode, great man, yes, Tackett, yes, who was teaching us the fundamentals of Afrobeats and mm -hmm. what Afro, it's we need Afro to beat poverty mm -hmm. in Nigeria. We need Afro to beat corruption. Mm -hmm. We need Afro to beat... It means nobody should bath nobody. <laughs> Afro has to beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Afro win. Yeah. As Afro, Afro I love that. <laughs> Real quick, let's celebrate our sponsors. Those who have been supporting this message. What we're doing on the White Podcast is that we're transmitting wisdom, making it democratized in a way that is appealing, easy to consume, easy to digest, and easy to implement. So if you would like to partner with us to share this message and to ensure that we make wisdom viral, please contact the details on your screen right now. Plus two three four. Four nine zero eight one two three four five. Sorry, zero plus two three four nine zero eight. I'm giving them my personal number. <laughs> I want to cause trouble. Plus two three four nine zero eight two two three four five six seven. And we can do great stuff together. I want to celebrate global greatness for partnering with us, Genius X Dreams dream stream and dream space where your dreams come alive so on to the next part of the conversation we're talking about writing four songs a day i i receive songs many times a week mm -hmm. oftentimes maybe like once a day but i've never done i don't think i've done well i think if i'm ministering somewhere mm -hmm. and you know there's sometimes atmosphere helps mm -hmm. right or if i'm in a pri private place of consecration mm -hmm. maybe two or three songs how do you just write how often do you write let me ask um how often do I write? Average. Yeah, on the average, yeah. like now, mm -hmm. because I'm very much writing around when I get to the studio. Okay. Or when there's something. Do you have a studio in your house or do you have a studio I around? Have okay. You know, so if, if you get an idea, you just yeah, go for I it. I just record it on my phone. Voice note. And then when I go to the producer, when we flesh, we flesh something out. Yeah, okay. Like I'll just complete it. I see. Yeah. Um, I what i would say has helped my writing is the fact that i learned how to rap mm. yeah, so we rap there's a lot of lyricism in yes so you have to use words you have to learn words you have to yes. learn why some words are pronounced a certain way yeah. why they even exist yeah you have to learn culture you have mm -hmm. to learn a lot of things mm. you have to learn a lot of metaphors similes yeah. ironies you know when parts of speech figures of speech yeah and things like that so because of that, um, then added to the fact that I can sing, mm -hmm. you know, I can put my melodies yeah. and weave them with the words. Come on now. They, You're already weaving. Mm -hmm. You're spinning. Yeah. I show okay. <laughs> That's weird. You understand? Because you've woven it. Mm -hmm. So it's interwoven. <laughs> I show okay. <laughs> All right. So that's why people get high when they listen to your music. Hi, I just yeah. Only okay. okay. That's a new genre. Okay. I'm yeah. Macronesia yeah. and Afrobeats. Come on now, work yeah. it, work it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So yeah, uh, the, the because I'm very conversant with words mm -hmm. and I use them a lot. I then began. I then had to be, and I, because I did it a lot of times. So this is what I would say to anybody who wants to you know be a good writer mm -hmm. write the work out yes yeah, a friend of mine told me write the work out <laughs> if you if you're drilling a well if you're drilling mm, a well, come on what has to i come love out. that i love that work it 
No work here, pressure now. You know, water has to really come out. Mm -hmm. But for clean water to come out, dirty water has to come out. Come on. But you have to keep drilling. Tell us. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us. Even if your name is not John, you can still drill. Mm. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Drill. drill. You understand? Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. Johnny Depp. Mm. Mm. And then keep on walking because Johnny Walker. <laughs> right. And if you put your liver in the pool of inspiration, you never walk alone. You never walk alone. Okay. You're too deep. End of it's gone. What's it love? That's it. But <laughs> so that's what it is really. And you just keep you just have to keep writing. It's yeah. Like, the way to know how to pray is to keep praying. Yeah. You know? Um you have to keep writing. And as you write, the gift gets refined. Mm. And as it gets refined product gets you know better yeah the value gets more. i really love the well analogy yeah. i really love it um because that makes it very practical that's yeah. and you know metaphorically the human body is like the earth mm -hmm. the earth is made up of about 70 percent water the human body the same thing your body was made out of dirt and then we have these treasures in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may have gotten out of us mm -hmm. so for even the treasures of god to come out of us so whether those treasures are spiritual spiritual treasures yeah. or more like gifts dance and abilities yeah. Yeah. there is that whole place of getting the dirt out yeah. right so let's talk about some of the dirt that you had to get out in in your growth and development mm -hmm. your dad is a preacher yeah, yeah. So you know there's this whole thing about PKs, mm -hmm. right? I'm not talking about Prem Carnal, right? <laughs> Pastor Color. <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking about uh, a potassium, right? <laughs> yeah, because I know you're all about the arts, but you need the science. No, I mean I did science too. Come on. So that's why you're scientific mm -hmm. in your projection. Yeah. O2. 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 But you're not an O2. Mm -mm. Never. And I'm Never from Otoeke. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm David. laughs> I'm David. I don't know that. Not Jonathan. I'm David. You're David. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so the dirt. So PK, people have this idea that, ah, preachers, kids, you know, they do some of the weirdest things. Yeah. Maybe like make mistakes because oftentimes preachers are very busy, run yeah. intense schedules, yeah. have to be there for so many people. I mean, I think like three or four days ago, I woke up and within like the first hour of waking up, I already got three not so good news about people that had to be there for and all of that just within an hour. Yeah. So preachers experience many of those kind of things. How was it like for you growing up? Did you like get into trouble? Did you stab Sunday school? Did you get into drugs? You don't have to tell us what it is. You don't have to tell us anything you want to tell us, but just somebody who's trying to navigate that space. What can you share? What you just did is tell us, but if you want to tell us, you want to tell us. Like it's <laughs> yeah, you're a deep person, yeah. so. <laughs> Come on now, yeah. The depth. Well, I know. I know, right? So that can be well, well placed. Well, well, placed. Mm. well said. Mm. Wellington. Welsh. Revival. Well, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Banky has been, has been on the podcast. For real? Yeah, he has. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's very true. Preachers can go through peculiar challenges. First of all, because um, the enemy does not like their dad. Come on now. So, oh, that's a good way to say it. Yeah. Wow. Well, does not like their dad because mm. dad is doing primarily what will tear down his kingdom. Mm. So he would affect. He would try to attack something that is personal to you. Mm. So that it oh come on now so um yeah i had my own fair share of you know just preachers kid shenanigans mm. mine wasn't smoking or drinking yeah it was more porn than mm. any of those other mm. but again i guess there's also god's uh technology of mercy come on now i love that regards, expression you know as re as regards the people that he sends mm. he makes sure that he takes care of them too yeah you know, as far as the mm. kids go good they, stuff there's just a way mercy brings them back yeah to him yeah you know on scan mm. anything it's yeah like untouched yeah so i would say i found god early mm. still by yourself outside of no, no it, was, it wasn't my dad okay it wasn't my parents yes they 
my mom says she witnessed it to me at five. Mm. That was the first time I gave my life to Christ. Mm. And for some reason, I've always had a good conscience. Mm. You know, I've always had a good moral worldview. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, I mean, I believe her when she says five. Mm. Because there was a Christian thing in me. Yeah. It wasn't just morals. Was I, just see. I, I, I see. I had so you're conscious of God, of God, not religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had the consciousness of God. So when the when what was authentic to me, like came really like as regards calling and everything, mm -hmm. it was it was easy for me to just blend in. Yeah, I wasn't a bad boy. Mm -hmm. Bad boy friend. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I had to deal with struggles, like like I said, porn. Mm -hmm. But I was very much always in tune with god yeah and even like yeah Easter, yeah you know I, my training was not churchy mm. i learned god come on you know god way yeah the way he would have <laughs> me you know learn him mm. the way he would have me know him i served the body i served church yeah because you know, I, I was always a singer and sometimes i was i functioned in the capacity of choir director mm. you know but i was not i was not the regular church kid i wasn't I've never really been the regular church kid. I was always that guy. Sometimes that church kids look look at as the say what's wrong with this boy. You know, like like because I was always different. Yeah. I, started, I didn't grow up with Fred Hammond. I didn't know who Fred Hammond. Are you serious? Yeah. I asked the question at Kings like no, 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 no. some months ago. I met him. Didn't know Fred Hammond. Like, oh. no, no, no. Not because I yeah I didn't know him. I didn't yeah. Know him. The only people I knew. <laughs> As a kid, was Ron Kenoli and Don Juan, oh, and that was like really as we were kids. Yeah. But growing up, man, I grew on radio. Oh, I knew Two Face, I knew Bang, oh, I knew, yeah. I knew yeah. Wandy Cole, mm -hmm. and those were the people I knew. Yeah, and my parents did not stop me from hearing them. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just a normal kid, and I guess that helped me to really know Afrobeats well. Yeah, pop very well. Yeah, because my Mm -hmm. Knowledge of music was not churchy. Yeah, I mean, I was not those kids that would so you them. don't have a you don't have that friction mm -hmm. of I'm transiting to a genre mm -hmm. and do I feel like I'm compromising my no, message here? Yeah. Wow, I've always been fluid. My my so this, this is amazing now. This is because sense has always been from my ears because mm -hmm. I just know what good music sounds like. Wow, and it, it was regardless of the genre. Let, let's talk about the genre because again. You know, a lot of people, maybe up until the last two, two or three years, many, in fact, don't let me, I just remember something now. Last year, there was something that went viral about a pastor and a wedding ceremony and how yeah. DJ was playing, yeah. uh, you know, some Afrobeat sound yeah. and all. Yeah. So you still have many people in the Nigerian church space who feel like the sound, the sound this is sound is not spiritual. Yeah. It does not carry, <laughs> does not carry. <laughs> the oil. <laughs> right. Right. So it's interesting that you're not dealing with that because I know a number of persons who trans their sounds changed or mm. they changed. Mm. Right. What do you have to say about that? About the, the sounds? The yeah, the genre. So this question is something I've asked myself over and over again. And I just it's somehow bring myself to the same answer. I mean, we all know that the, the enemy does not create anything. Mm -hmm. Any creativity that we see on earth was by man. If it is bad, it was inspired mm -hmm. by the devil. Mm -hmm. It's like fried rice, mm -hmm. it's small poison. Mm -hmm. it, it makes the fried rice mm -hmm. poisonous. Mm -hmm. And anybody who ingests it, it turns their stomach. Mm -hmm. But fried rice is good. Come on now. Come um, on. And so the inspiration behind bombs might not have been <laughs> you know to destroy completely yeah or the, wrong the scientific yes the science possibilities behind it, behind it, yeah it's, it's a good thing yeah Do you understand? Uh, the person who created bombs guns and everything i have done it for self-defense mm. to make his own side of the yeah. story defend themselves love this you know but the enemy creates strife mm. tells lies mm. steals mm. Kills. Mm. and so because of that you now want to be wittily invent inventive yeah. for the wrong reason. Yeah. So a gun on a policeman's hand is a good thing. It should be a good thing. Mm. A, the gun, the same gun on the thief's hands is, the, is a bad thing. Come on. Do you understand? Yeah. So I think that, and Jesus says something. 
And this 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 is why I laugh a lot of times when people say, "Oh, the producer is secular." Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm like, bro, Jesus says, "What defines what?" Is mm. it the gold that defines the temple, mm. or the temple that mm. qualifies the gold? Mm. If it's the temple that qualifies the gold, mm. why are you crying? Come why on, are you shouting like the clothes you are wearing, the Louis V that you are wearing. Come that on, is gay. yeah. Do you understand my point? Mm -hmm. like, you know, you like it, you go and buy it. You say yeah. that. Yeah. Don't buy the Gucci bag. Yeah. We don't even know if he's, if he's a Satanist. We just heard maybe it's a conspiracy theory or anything, but there's the story behind Balenciaga. Mm. Do you get my point? Yeah. So it's like, bro, again, Afro beats is not, or it's not um, original mm. to church. Mm. Yeah. But there's a reason why. Yeah. You know, um, Afro beats is very much African. That means it's percussive. Earthy, yeah. And percussive music mm. is. African music. Yes. Our ancestors Drum bits. worshipped idols. Yeah. And these things were things they used, they used yeah. to worship Experience. their idols. Yeah. If you go and preach the gospel to an idol worshipper, you mm. allow mm. somewhere, right? And he gets converted to Jesus. Yeah. Right? If he wants to praise Jesus, he will use that same drum. Come on. Or he will create another drum and Come say, on. God, all the worship I have been making, Come on now. it is your own because I yeah. realize you are the one true God. True God. The music he's singing, he will not sing hymns. He doesn't know hymns, right? It's the music that he knows mm. that he will create. And mm. God sees it as worship mm. because it's from a heart. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. The same gun yeah. that he was using to point at people, to mm. shoot at them. Now he's using it to do 21 gun shots. Like you actually shoot from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's rap now, so I know. <laughs> you know postures. Yeah, I know postures. It's the same gun he's using now to do 21 gun salutes. In Come on now. I love this. Locations. I love it. So when people talk about the genre, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you guys don't even have knowledge. <laughs> Basic knowledge. And you see, another thing is... <laughs> <laughs> another thing is the yap for me if I hear you and to be yeah. honest and this is another thing yeah. <laughs> because knowledge pops up mm. scripture says yeah. knowledge pops up and we have to be gracious about the way we educate people true when we want to talk about where, where they are ignorant true so Mm. There, there's a way you can preach the message of grace yeah you are without correct, grace but you're not gracious yeah at all yeah and so even when i'm talking about it i don't i don't like to sound insulted mm. you know if if this question wasn't asked i will not talk yeah i'll just keep doing yeah because scripture again says that the poor, poor man's wisdom is not heard mm. and it's just it's just what it is people man sees from the outside and so if you haven't achieved a level of mm. you know, we're talking about systems yeah you know, before i mean before we started yeah if if i haven't achieved a level of um I see what you mean. Got, gotten to a level of achievement mm. people would not want to hear me because what mm. have you done mm. what are, why, why are you telling me to look what he's done already <laughs> that's him <laughs> they're like look what he has done what have you done about? <laughs> you know so so as regards the genre yeah I don't feel bad that I'm doing Afro beats. Mm. Church music mm. is him. It, church music is, if you listen to Coldplay, mm. it's, it's very Hillsong. Mm. It's a genre yeah. of music. Like CCM. Yeah. 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 People, people lift up their hands. Yeah. During those they concerts. Yeah, concerts. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I am not in any way feeling bad. So it's more of the object and the intention of yes, your worship, of the worship than the, genre, the modality. So, yeah. Because humans create music. Yeah. And music is part of culture. Mm. And culture is originally from God. Mm. You know, originally. Of course there's perversion of culture. Yeah. But if you see if you if you um take a, if you zoom into that culture, if you see, zoom into what people are doing. Yeah, zoom your screens right now. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> <laughs> if you what, like the intention of that thing, mm. you realize, oh, there was a good intention behind this thing. Mm. The enemy has done this. Mm. Has perverted this thing again. Mm. That's what it is, really. Because God is very redemptive. Yeah. See, yeah. I think, am I talking too much? Please flow. I think that God is more secular than any secular person. Mm. God's laws are universal. Yep. Yep. It affects the goose and the gander. Yeah. God's principles are universal. Mm. Anybody that applies them, it will work. work for them. On this earth, yeah. a Christian jumps up, 
he will come down. Yes. If a Buddhist jumps up, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's God that created that law of gravity. Yes. God, however narrow he is, mm. is broad enough to accommodate everybody. Come on, because now. he wants to be inclusive for you know things <laughs> the way that, are, define that are wrong. It, he, yeah, not the way people define it. He wants he he has his way because he's yeah. king. Yeah. But his way can accommodate everybody. Away. You know, it can accommodate everybody. That's what I think. So God is not afraid of affluence. Mm. He's yeah. not afraid of rock and roll. Yeah. He's not afraid of rap. Yeah. He's not afraid of your worship song. Mm. Because a lot of times what people like is the strings and the and I am not against the strings. Mm. I'm a worship for myself. Come on now. I've, I'm grateful to God. One thing I'm grateful to God is that I'm not this or that. Mm. I'm this and, and that. Absolutely. So I'm a bridge. Yeah. So when I'm talking to somebody about Afrobeats, yeah, that does not know it, mm. I'm telling you, I understand you, but you should understand this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because there are times when you need songs for, for weddings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You> <laughs> know what I'm yeah. Speaking, uh, alluding to the um the scenario you talked about with the Afrobeat song. Mm. And okay, the, yeah, the the apostle that yeah. not like a particular song being played. I mean, there are a lot of factors that could have, yeah, you know, resulted in that. Mm. Because, for example, he maybe he had a specific that. playlist, yeah. But if the case is that the sound he doesn't, he thinks the sound is ungodly, yeah. <sighs> the Hebrews will say Mazotov, the Jews will say Mazotov, <laughs> you know, like, no problem. But we need education, yeah, we do need to be educated, yeah, because you see. You think you have escaped. Your children have not. Mm. Yeah. And they need role models. Yeah. Because they will wear earrings to your house one day. Mm. They'll tell you. Mm. They will ask you, Daddy, why should I not be a female mm. as a male? Yeah. And you have to have good answers. Come on. Because, Beyond. Yes, yes. Because just in the realm of anybody can win. Mm. Anybody. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm upset you. Come on. This is a whole masterclass the intro part of a masterclass but i think that you're very enlightened and so powerful i agree with you that god has no problem with your fuji because he can redeem you from being a fugitive right he has no issue with rock and roll because it's your rock and with him you roll come on now he has no issue with your rap because he can wrap things up in your favor he has no issue with strings come on because strings for you. Kaya. Okay, yeah. He loves you with no strings attached. Come on. <laughs> Can you string it on? <laughs> so, um, God, God is so colorful and creative. Yeah. I say to people that no matter how big your box are, God won't fit in. Mm -mm. Right. He's, you said something about not this or that. I've always said that for years that I want to embrace the full spectrum of God's possibilities. Yeah. And God is, doesn't say I'm the alpha or oh, the Omega. It says, I am the Alpha and Omega. Um, Omega. Yes, the A to the Z and everything. Right, so that's powerful. Now let's talk about, we're talking about dirt. Thanks for, for sharing the story about your, your growth and background. That vulnerability is very liberating, but clear for many young people who are inundated with so much the appeal or the temptation towards perfectionism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, we just feel like everything should be perfect and everything. But let's talk about I want to talk about daily disciplines, yeah. but before I talk about that, let's talk about some of the struggles that you've had, right? So you have increasing visibility and popularity. There's something that happened to me, 2009, I had my first opportunity to be on national television, actually international television. The show called The Debaters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, The Debaters. <laughs> ah, that show was fun. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, I was one of the 14 people that were selected from thousands of people that applied and auditioned wow. through yeah, local, regional, and the national auditions and everything. So, I was on television for, for three months, yeah. right? Beamed all, all over Africa and then some parts of Europe and America, some stations and all. But when I came out of that, of the house, then I knew that I'd lost my claim of course. to <laughs> privacy. <laughs> Now I didn't have a car or anything, so I jumped on the bus. Ah, this is not the better guy. Hey, yeah, right. So imagine that pressure for a twenty-something-year-old, and oh, I guess that you're in that phase right now where you enter into a mall. So I mean, right now I'm I'm used to, I mean, and there are differences I've done over the years that I've, you know, preaching ministry, white paper. I hardly get into a public space where people don't. But 
I'm, I know how to deal with that, right? I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, everybody, let's be happy. How do you, how do you deal with that? Pretty much. I know you. Oh my God, you do. Oh, can I have a picture? Oh yeah, please. Okay. And I go and eat my food. <laughs> so, like when you're buying your food, I was like, ah, great, Maria, and I think for the boys, that, that, that kind of financial pressure on you. Well, do you yeah, feel that started, like? And I think it's the mercy of God. I think it's the mercy of God. Yeah. Oh, I have not done so Just so much. Yeah, I'm favored, though. I'm the high one. You can see, once you, once you have this kind of screen time that you have, yeah. you have a lot of screen time because mm -hmm. music is very viral. And mm -hmm. your kind of music is very yeah. special, yeah. very penetrative, right? Yeah. So, I mean, people see you. Like ah, that, somebody has said ah, get yeah, help, uh, come and help me or very uh, much my master. Oh, yeah, we yeah, have, we yeah, have, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that some people have sent good DMs as regards their mm -hmm. fees, and um, God helps. You know, the funny thing is, again, mercy. Some of those needs come up when God has just ordered. Mm -hmm. So and so then I am able to, you know, meet them. Yeah. Even if not the entire way. I'll tell them how much you know. I'll tell them I'll send I'll tell them to send me their account. I'll do wow. stuff like that. And you know, no man takes credit for these things. Mm -hmm. Because even if it's working for the telecoms company. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if you had a bit of talent, you can't take yeah. credit for for the yeah, for the deadlifts. <laughs>
You can't just be half of a guy. Mm-hmm. Many creatives, particularly multi-layered creatives or three sixty degree creatives, so music, arts, and all the works. They have a lot of ideas, but they don't execute. You don't execute. So we have songs. I'm sure you're gonna say that you don't execute everything you're supposed to do, but yeah. you have songs, <coughs> I hear you, projects, you. you're doing your you've done your events, mm-hmm. right? You're like a mm-hmm. website tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and then you're honoring other people in the space mm-hmm. and serving and ministry and all of that. What's your daily routine? Again, for creatives, I know it can be very hard to go to studio one night or reflect yeah. the other day. Yeah. But typically, what are some of the anchor points you have in a day so, that you think make you as productive and as progressive as well? So I make a bit of my mind not to um, that my day doesn't start until like maybe twelve midnight. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow! So I wake up in the I wake up in the so I sleep. Yeah, so I mean, but most creatives do that. Like, yeah, I've been sleeping before two or three. Me, I slept seven a.m. Yeah, but you had a meeting. Yeah, I had a meeting. Um, but typically it's like one, two, lots of So I wake up at like eight. Sometimes, nine, but um, so when I wake up, I want to first read my Bible. Um, read my Bible, maybe listen to a message, pray, and then maybe grab it and then book to me. I'm fasting that day, then I'm waiting to see what I'm doing. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just doing a chill. A lot of times I'm going to eat like drunk in the fridge or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? To get chill. Just in the fridge. Close yourself. Please ask me to have a Cold sweat. Cold sweat. Imagine that's an ironic thing. I can't be related to cold sweat at all. Yes, no. If you're cold, be cold. If you're hot, be hot. Even God said I would give you out if you're cold or hot. So you can't, you can't be doing that. Life then cold sweat. <laughs> that's true. You know? You're hot. That's why you're hot. You're cold. You can't be doing that. You're at the same time. So what, when you jump out of the freezer? Mm-hmm. Then I'm a cool guy. You're yeah, cool. Man. Eyes on my neck. Oh, <laughs> <it> makes sense <laughs> now. <laughs> so that way, your choice was nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. 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 Mm-hmm. Ice. Ice. The end is the dream. Nigerian ice. Yeah. So, ice. you're connected to ice prince and I'm going to be a prince of God. Mm-hmm. Ice. In the lack of energy. Ice! Yeah, I'm fire! I'm talking about ice, but you're on fire. I know, that's the. We'll try, we'll try. We'll just manage it. It's cool, ice. So, um, yeah, just chill. I'm just doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then my day starts with whatever I think I have on the front of the day. But really. I think that um, creativity must be from life. Come on. Yeah. There are two people on this podcast. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I think that creativity must be from life. You can't be really authentically creative if you don't live your life. Yeah. Of your creativity. Yeah. So if a rapper, a gangster, tells you, I will shoot you, he has no way to say because he's been on the streets. He's and he leaves the life. He's a trap star. So if a rapper says, I will shoot you, don't think he's trying to take your pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not Fuji Films. Or, yeah. No, it's not Luka. Or Koda. 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 Or you know, camera. And this is not a dark room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Windows, not a camera. But no, when you wait, 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 Yeah, creativity was stem life. Yeah. And so, even I'm a Christian, and I live the life of a Christian. Mm. And so, I have a view. People call Judeo Christian world, mm-hmm. meaning that I have a definition of sex and sexuality. I see. Okay. I, so, I, I see. I see the world from a lens, and mm-hmm. it's the Bible. It's mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. I know that Jesus is God in the flesh. You know, I, I, 
and that's how I live my life. I have a I have an opinion about family. Mm. I have an opinion about marriage. Mm. I have a, an opinion about money. I have an opinion about saving. I have an opinion about death. I have an opinion about life mm. and the afterlife. There is a way I see life. Come it's on. a worldview. That's my paradigm. And so that's where my creativity stems from. Mm. Yeah. Wow, you deep. Ah, no. Just trying to take things. This is a <laughs> All right, a couple of things I, I want us to home in, home in on uh, as we begin to take out the conversation. Here. Let's talk about Nigeria and you know the youth emerging, burgeoning youth population. Yeah, that's huge. So, for example, like this podcast, I check the stats, you know, um, every week, and I'm not just looking at the number of people that are on it. I mean, think of for tens of thousands of people that are. I'm just one, mm -hmm. right? But I'm also looking at demographics, and almost every episode <clears throat> has 70 to 80, by some cases, 90 percent of people who are watching there between 18 <clears throat> and 35. It's, it's, in fact, most times, almost 90 percent. Mm -hmm. So there's an energized youth mm -hmm. population that would be there. And I mean, you speak to that. What do you see? How would you encourage? somebody how would you what would you say to somebody in that space you know the frustrations are real yeah, right now yeah. you know, I almost many things that should work are not working yeah yeah how do you get in that space um, in terms of economics in terms of security in terms of faith yeah. in terms of patriotism yeah and what would you say to somebody yeah. within that space because i believe you're within that yeah that space. Uh -huh. i would say this is how i deal I, as much as, as much as I know what's going on, take my focus away from it. Mm. I literally want to place my affection in mm. it. That's safe for me. Therapeutic for me. Mm. Because every day I'm faced with nonsense. Mm. And so I need therapy. Every day, if not, my mental health is at stake. Mm. And then my creativity can work. Wow. So, the doctor has to be saying to, to go to the minister here. Um, I think that we should all be encouraged. Right now, it is apparent that we have a voice. What is annoying everybody is that that voice, mm -hmm. people want to silence. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, we should be encouraged. We should be encouraged. And God is on our side. God is always on the right side. We should respect the authority, but we should, we should respect the authority, but we should trust God. Mm. We need to educate ourselves more. We need to arm ourselves more. We need to build more systems. Mm. We need to collaborate with ourselves more. We are stronger. We are more. Yeah, even as we got yeah population. absolutely. You know, we're like 60% of Nigeria's population. Mm. That's, that's a prison. 60-70% can I imagine. So that's that's a lot of people, a lot of young people, and so um, learn from the fathers, the predecessors, but resist the corruption mm. that they bring. Mm. Resist it, because if you do not resist it, you will be exactly like them, mm. and. The kids that are coming in will hate you. They will hate you for why did you do that? You cannot, you cannot, you don't, you don't negotiate with ter terrorists. Mm. That's what it is. We don't, we resist terrorism. Mm. We resist. There are many ways to go about this thing. There are, but we need to collaborate with ourselves. Yeah. We need to be yeah. educated about our history. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you cannot determine that the future. Yeah. You can't. So we need to be very, very hard with this knowledge, but then we need to. Because there are still good elderly people. Yeah. We need this yeah. Song. Yeah. We need this song. And the elderly people have a vantage view because they have the opportunity to have lived life. The Yorubas will say that if a child has more clothes, so they will mm -hmm. have more rights. Meaning mm -hmm. that their experiences are very valid. Yeah. And so there are certain things that look like black. But when mm -hmm. you look at them very well, yeah. better lives. <coughs> We realize this is not good. Yeah. So that's evil. Yeah. You know. Also, when they look like white, mm -hmm. when you look at it from the right lens, like this is pure evil. Mm -hmm. So 
we must learn, we must we must be able to identify the good ones that yeah. are part of that generation. Yeah. And engage them so that they can help us with our with their knowledge. No, not, not knowledge, their knowledge but wisdom. Because wisdom is application of yeah. the right Correct. application. Yes. So I think that there is hope. I don't I think that it is just a defeatist mentality to lose hope. Mm. We can't afford it's the easier thing yeah. to do. We cannot afford it. Yeah. Even in scripture, even in quotes Hebrews 11 and talk about the Hall of Fame of Faith. Yeah. Then there are people in verse 35 downwards that yeah. did not receive this promise. Yeah. There's not even as much as conquer. Yeah. God still sees that as That's faith. faith. Yeah. Because you're coming to the God. Come on now. You know, so I think that not like this. I never thought or if I can go to school from home school anymore. They bother they couldn't get close to their parents. Yeah. <laughs> so so I think that we must never lose hope. Yeah. We must always have the good Nigeria in front of us. Yeah. What this means is the fact that we are dispopulated mm-hmm. means that majority of us don't know what it means to we don't know what a good Nigeria looks like. Yeah. There has always been fuel problems in our own Wow. There's always been inflation problems since I was born. There's always been naira to dollar whatever since I was born. Mm. There's always been political whatever since I was born. Mm. So we don't know. There's always been education problems since I was born. Yeah. There's always been, you know, the fact. I mean, you give examples of the fact that Nigerians, um, Africa, does not benefit from the rich resources that yeah. it has. There's always been that. There's always been corrupt leaders problems in yeah. born. So it's our opportunity to. We are literally the tabula rasa. Mm. We don't know what a good Nigeria looks like. We <coughs> only exist in our minds. Yeah. We can create it. Come on now. Yeah. We can create wow. it. We are the ones that wow. should create it. Yeah. Powerful stuff! That reminds me of your song on Swagal Project. Yes, sir. Our generation is ready. Mm-hmm. Powerful song. Thank you. Yeah. So, guys, we can create a future. We can create a future. What are some of the things that you see yourself doing in the future? Right, and how do you think you can be a part of that? Um, I see myself as a very well established music artist and executive mm-hmm. in the nearest future because I think that the music space is very important to occupy. Mm-hmm. Um, because the music music is one tool that gets into anybody's heart yeah. without definition, um, it breaks through the barriers of demography or culture or tribal. Whatever it is, you know, people knew Michael Jackson in Japan mm. and in Korea, and he yeah. was packing out stadiums without them understanding. I saw clips of concerts of King Song in Japan. Yeah, in the eighties, in the eighties. So what the, the music space is something; it's a very important space to go. Um. So yeah, if you want to support my music, please stream. If you want, if you have both of them. I will not use your mind. Mm-hmm. From the, with these few points of mind that you have heard, I can tell that I have sense more. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I see myself speaking a lot to younger people because um, I think that, I mean, obviously, there's a future. Mm-hmm. It's a cliche statement. They are not rappers, but they are future. <laughs> yeah. So, in order for them not about to be down in two chairs, mm-hmm. we need to preserve that future. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Anyways, no problem. Um <laughs> Are you trying to park? No, I thought about two parts, but I'm like, nah, I'm big I'm big. You know. But um, by any chance the rapper. No, no chance the rapper. Neither am I never am I new way. Lil Bow Wow! Lil Dirk or Lil Dirk. Lil Wow. I know how to wow. I don't listen to like a dog. <laughs> Let's go because we could go here on forever. <laughs> Am I the one that you go to? <laughs> Are you the one? <laughs> Am I? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Eminem, so I was like, no. oh Chocolate. my god. I mean, that's another thing that's like, Come on now, uh, come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there, you're yeah, there. So I see myself speaking to a lot of people. I see myself as a 
I see, I see that, but I see myself, you know, manning the gates of the entertainment. Good. I don't know, because people need to be entertained, but entertainment needs to be fine. Come on. Yes. There yeah. is no freedom outside that. Yeah. yeah. And as beautiful and as vast as this character is, one by lot. Yeah. So, a truly free person is a person who has restraint mm. and who has boundaries. Mm. It's a beautiful way. It's a dr- mic drop. Don't drop the smart You want to drop the mic? No, this one. You want to draw the cutting? I can draw it so it goes. Thank you. Tell me, pencil to draw the cutting. You draw it to completion. And we are drawing the attention. I'm drawing the attention. I eat and draw soup. No, I'm not eating. The last thing for me. We're cooking it together. Let me learn. Let me learn. Let Guys, drop a comment like this guy is deep. Are you hearing all the gems? Drop a comment. Let us know how this is going. Share the podcast with your friends, family, loved ones, followers, and fans online. We're about to wrap it up. But before we draw the curtain on it, there's a game we're going to play. I remember all right. that. All right. You ever played with Nintendo? No. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did that. All right. Well, you're an evil Yeah. I don't speak on that, I'm seated. Come on, seated. The Shumole. Yes. I'm the Shumole. Yes. Yes. So, some of the captions are coming down. Yeah. They you know who you are. Nobody. Carpenter, not Carpenter. Mm-mm. Not Carpenter. Yeah, no, because Carpenter. I can't drive. Yes, so that's why you made the earth with food too. Yes. Yeah, so it's true. I'm saying not Carpenter. No. Because they can't drive you too. Can't drive me. Mm. Can't drive me pretty. They can't drive me. I drive my son home. That's it. Who are in drivers? No, no, no. <laughs> so you got it right after yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs>
current challenges. After all, they can take cues and produce dash that can bring harmony to our economy. Mm. No, because Nigeria is doing lines. We have bad lines. So produce what? To produce produce dash mm -hmm. that can bring harmony mm. to our economy. They can make cues. They produce. They can take cues, can take cues and produce, and produce dash. dash. Dash dash is actually two words, but this one is serious. Job offer. I just use your music mind. You get yes, one of yeah, yeah, the uh, your clothes. They can produce one accord. I know your clothes, but what makes up the chords? Melody. 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 No, no, not chord. No, no, notes. Ah, oh, no, I can produce new notes. <laughs> this is not the right. Let me get it. You just finally. <laughs> Let me try now. There's option A, B, C. Right. There was OBJ, and then there was uh, Jonathan. So, so, so new news. I said I'll probably OBJ. OBJ. Now this one, you should just get like you should go on a job. Dear believer, it is easier to go so low when you go so low. Hey, not in Solo man. Solo man. Solo man. And I solo you no more. Mm. 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 I'm so you feel like Solo man. Mmm. So I like that. You. you know, some people, the only flicks they have, they want to jump off. The only flicks they have is conflicts, not small flicks. Not small flicks. They can't jump off. They can't. They can't. You must stay here. Only con they have. 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 All right. Now, the next part of this game is that you're supposed to craft your own quotes, wise words, mm -hmm. wit, and reading. I'll dash. I'll put dash to you. No, this one's for you now. You're not testing me. You don't want to test me. You don't want to test me. Exactly. Test. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Mm -hmm. So give me promotion. Exactly. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bible like that is a great man. <laughs> so, two words, there must be great man in it, mm -hmm. and there must be hot melody. Um, hot melody as a word? Yes, as a phrase, go together, and then great man. Just the line? The thing yeah, it can be a sentence, but something wise. Or interested, it doesn't have to be deep. It can be deep, it can be just nice. It can be a message. Great man is a fake man, he creates. That's the right Oh, they can wrap it up there. Hey, great man, great man, creates, recreates, recreates. Great man isn't fake man, he is real and like he's real. I do spiritual felonies with my drug dealing heart money. Hey, <laughs> he's real like he's real. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Thank, Thank you real. so much for your time, Thank you. your attention, your wisdom, you. your wit, your humor. <laughs> The laughs, I've laughed so much today. But <laughs> well, I thank you so much. And I know that you have a reason, a reason future, a reason ministry, okay. and you will shine brighter and brighter. Amen. Guys, following online, stream the songs, attend the live shows coming up.
is popping up in a city near you. So, you know, don't just come along and bring all your guys and money in the broad, in different countries. Things will be hot back up in the broad. I see. Or even the plans are going to work on. Exactly. Abroad. And then you're going to be on Broadway. Yeah, on Broadway. Yes. You have the light performance. You have the light performance. Yes, definitely. It's not going to be. 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 It's Having no rights, they're not having to see the competition. That would be big. They're not only boss. Not only boss. So, why do you want to do the Olympics? Anyway, let's pray. 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 Let's Follow the link on the screen right now. Follow Great Man. Tell people about this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of White Paper Podcast. Until then, stay wise.